like I said, we're going to use the 1.0, uh, the one millimeter solder here for this one. So you'll see it actually kind of fills in a little bit faster. It's what I prefer to use uh, when I'm doing a repair like this. If it's a really tiny wire, then that 0.8 works real well. Uh, so again, run the iron for a second, let it get hot. We should be good. Yep, it's melting now. All right, bring it up under it. Melt right into the iron and then it just transfers right down the wire. And this one should be filled in a lot better, uh, again, because it's 1.0 and that did fill a lot quicker. So again, that's about the biggest I go uh, for repairs like this is the 1.0, it's what I prefer. That's what we uh, sell. The 0.8 is good for a uh, little bit smaller stuff, uh, especially if you're doing some kind of circuit board repair or really small wire. Uh, but for the 16 gauge, 18 gauge, uh, even up to eight gauge, I use that 1.0. Typically is how you want to do it. We'll just bring it down. I've got my hand at a stopping point. That's where I want to stop it. Just kind of heat one end. That'll kind of get that glue going. It'll grab itself, hold it in position. Again, not getting too close. Spin that. We got a fan going, so it's kind of pushing the flame around a little bit. And that is it right there. So again, if that was bent, whenever you do that, it's going to kind of hold that bend. So you just got to kind of keep it as straight as possible.